Hello everyone, welcome back to My Creative Ego, and as you can probably tell, there are a few party animals in the house, and that's because Crafter's Companion is celebrating their 15th birthday! Oh my gosh, raise your hand if you have been binge watching all the Crafter's Companion videos leading up to their launch party. I was watching the one on HSN a few days ago. Oh my goodness, there are so many new exciting gadgets. And this is kicking it really, really, really old school, you guys. But this was like the product that I had to have when it first came out. It was like the coolest thing since sliced bread. And I jumped through so many hoops trying to look for this. And it's actually a pretty long story. So if I have extra room towards the end of the video, I'll put it there. <laughs> In the meantime, why I wanted to come on here was to show you guys um, some of the projects that I made with box number 18. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I was trying to figure out some homemade gift that I could add to my Christmas presents because, you know, this is a year that a lot of my family have started crafting, you know, so um, my mom's crafting more, my aunt is, I have some cousins that started crafting, so I'm super excited about that. And so I figured I really wanted to put like a handmade element to this year's Christmas gifts. And so I did the bookmarks like you see here. I had a whole lot of that twine that I hauled from Michael's in a grab box, so I put that to good use, and then I also turned them into paper clips, super, super cute jumbo paper clips. And if you haven't seen box 18, I will also give you a more detailed look of everything that it comes with. I was actually coloring them all in with marker because I had stamped out a lot of them, and then I was realizing, you know, you can really see that I'm bad at blending. <laughs> so you can see all of my marker streaks on here. So I was like, you know what? I probably should just stamp this onto colored cardstock so that I don't have to color in too much, <laughs> which I did here and it worked out perfectly fine as well. So if you don't want to use, or if you're not that good at coloring with markers like me, you know, you can definitely just stamp it onto cardstock. And then also another thing that you can do as well for the kitty cat, you know, you have your regular kitty cat and then I put little tiger stripes on it and I thought that it turned out super super cute so <laughs> that's another suggestion as well and it's actually a really nice feature because you are getting the stamp for both the front and back of the animal it's pretty cool because you kind of get like a 360 degree view like the front and the back and it's really nice when you're putting that onto like a bookmark or a paper clip so that way you don't have to put just like a regular piece of decorative paper on the back of it and it's also a really nice practical handmade gift especially now when everyone's staying home so it's something that they can definitely use to keep track of like all their paperwork it really is such a cute set and it'd be really nice like bundling all four of them together. I'm gonna have to create some sort of like tree card for this so I can stick all these little paper clips in it. I think it'd be cute like Christmas. I'm gonna build like a little Christmas tree. That would be cute, right? And then I can stick all these little animal paper clips in there. And the paper clips are so easy to make, you know, I'm just using two layers of foam and two layers of cardstock and the paper clip. So just in case you haven't seen this particular one, and there's actually quite a few. This is actually a little bit older than some of them, but this is box number 18. It is called the Character Stamp and Die Kit. It says that it makes a minimum of 24 cards and it has 230 elements. And like all these wonderful, beautiful kits from Crafter's Companion, it always comes with a really cute, nicely wrapped set. And it has the tissue paper on top with a little card. And then on this set, you are getting four dies. So you are getting one of the dies that say thank you. And then it cuts out like this, but you know you can definitely cut it out even more to create something else like this. And then you're also getting the die that says with the love. And then every animal actually has just this one die. So even though there's four different animals, they're all using this one piece right here for both the front and the back. And then you have the little arch right here, which is gonna give you some of the really unique openings that you find on the cards that I'll show you later on in the video. It also comes with two acrylic stamp sheets and it says from me to you on your special day, on your birthday, from the bottom of my heart, for everything that you do, you're so sweet, happy birthday, cute, hello from all of us, for being you, for the gift, just to say and smile. And then you also have other things like the little note cards and the hearts and like the single stemmed roses. And of course, we can't forget all the cute little characters that you are going to be able to make with this. So we have the cat, 
We have the dog. We also have the squirrel. I'm gonna guess it's a squirrel because it has a little acorn right there. And then you also have the little piggy. And this is actually a really nice size stamp. It's not a small stamp. As you can see, it's standing about three inches tall. So you do get the front of the stamp. You get four of those. And then you also get another set that is the back of the stamp and you get four of those as well. And I don't know, it feels like they really need like their own introduction. It's such a cute set of characters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Cat, squirrel, dog, and pig. Also known as the party animals. Hi! <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crackers companion. Happy birthday to you. It also comes with 24 card blanks, and that's in three different sizes. And you also get the three different size matching envelopes for that as well. You do also get one really small pack of assorted pearls. It is a hundred, but you know, they have like the little pearls on there as well. You also get 24 pattern or printed paper, and you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you are getting eight sheets. You're getting three of each pattern. And if you need to look at the patterns a little bit longer, don't forget to go ahead and press the pause button for that. And then you are also getting another set of paper, but this is gonna be your solid cardstock. It comes with two shades of pink, a dark and a light pink. It comes with a light green, two shades of yellow, dark and light. And then you also get like a really nice light pastel purple. So that's six different colors and four of each color, which gives you 24. It also comes with ribbon and that's three different colors and three different sizes. And then this is what the entire set is gonna look like once you take everything out of the box. Again, pause it if you need to look at it a little bit longer. And of course you wanna keep that box because that is what's gonna give you the inspiration to create your cards. So there's no actual like um, directions on how to make these cards, but when you look at the box, you can kind of get an idea of what they did with each card because as you can see here, I kind of tested everything out. So this was the card that I was supposed to make and then I made a little bit of my own type of changes to it so this was my inspiration one the one on the box and then this is the one that says thank you and this is the one that I created right here and I tell you the box is as good as a magazine because when you look at each picture you kind of get an idea of how you want to create your card and you know it's not a hundred percent the same because you know there's probably a lot of things that you're going to want to change around you might want to use different color schemes, different pattern paper, but it's a, it's a really, really great set, you guys. Like, I really loved all the cards that I was able to make with this. And, you know, as it's playing in the background and you're seeing me compare the ones that I made with the ones that's on the actual box, you know, I can tell you that, you know, you're probably going to have to dig into some of your own, um, like, stamps as well because for the curtains right here where there's that little piggy you don't actually have the curtains but this was actually another crafters companion stamp set that I had so it's an older stamp set and that's where I took the curtains from so if you need that information don't forget to go ahead and pause the video so that you can get all that information and as you're looking at the cards in the background, I'm just gonna touch on the product that I showed you earlier, the really old school crafters companion product. So before there was like a whole lot of these like cutting machines and whatnot, this for me is what I remembered being like the it product in crafting. And it took me so long to hunt it down. Like I really like took a couple years to try to find this and I couldn't find it at all. So, you know, it just went to the back of my mind. I didn't think about it for many, many years. And then I, you know, end up at Michael's, a different Michael's, which is like an hour away from my house and I'm shopping and I see this box. It is like, it's aged though. <laughs> the box is no longer white. It's like brown. There's no stickiness to the tape. And as you can just really tell, it's an old box. But then when I was looking at it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been looking for. I was so super excited. And it's really crazy because I just picked it up like two years ago 
And usually for Michaels, they don't keep like all their older products. So this was just meant for me to buy, you guys. I was not leaving this in the store. I actually had to ask the associate if I could take some time to open it in the store to make sure I had all the pieces because I didn't want to drive like an hour back home and find out that I didn't have what I was looking for because I know for a fact that was not at my Michaels store. So super, super happy that I was able to find it. And then once you create all of your cards, you're going to see that all the cutouts, the little half um, circle, all those cutouts are just going to be left right there. You know me, I don't like to waste any craft paper whatsoever. And so just looking at the shape itself, it kind of reminds me of like mushrooms. And some of these are like little forest creatures, which is perfect. So you could take, you know, some other leftover pieces that you have. So that would be like the stem of your mushroom. And then that would be the top of your mushroom. And then you can decorate it any way that you'd want to. So yeah, I just really love this set. It's so cute. And you know, the cards that you make with it, you know, given your inspiration on the box, you will also be really, really impressed with the cards that you're able to make with this. And that's going to do it for today's video. I thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you like my vibe, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again, everyone, and have a wonderful day.